the latest coring operation by Perseverance extracted a sample that was momentarily stuck in limbo. After some cajoling, the piece was freed from the teeth of the coring bit, only to arrive in another state of limbo. On this episode of Mars Guy, in the past few weeks, Perseverance has been investigating the rocks of a feature dubbed Crocodilin, Norwegian for the crocodile, an apparently crocodile-like ridge on one of the islands of the Svalbard archipelago. The one on Mars was found to contain clay minerals, which are definitive evidence of interaction with water and thus a compelling target for sampling. But these clay-bearing rocks have proven to be crumbly, resisting the efforts to sample them or even just to abrade them for a better look. After multiple stops in the crocodile that frustrated the efforts of Perseverance, see episodes 220 and 221, the team directed it back to the first spot where it at least managed to produce an abrasion patch. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Presumably this was where the first evidence of clay minerals was found, so it's a good place to collect a sample. The drill was deployed next to the now nearly erased abrasion patch and went to work. Once again, the operation crumbled the rock and even flung out broken chunks, with this one leaving a little trail of disturbed soil and pebbles, probably helped along by the downslope vector. Unlike the previous coring attempt in Crocodilin, which came up empty, this one came up with a piece of rock stuck at the tip of the coring bit. The engineers recognized such a scenario years ago in tests on Earth and even named the trap piece a mushroom. They devised the percuss to ingest operation, which reorients the drill at an upward angle and spins the bit with percussion mode on to either ingest the mushroom into the sample tube in the coring bit or to eject it. The result clearly succeeded but it's not clear whether the piece was ingested or ejected. Once the sample tube was brought on board for the visual inspection involving incremental steps toward the focal point of cash cam, it did become clear that there's a piece of rock at the very bottom of the tube. I can't tell if this is the mushroom piece or a different one that may have been lodged at the bottom of the tube during the coring operation. Either way, it's a success but unfortunately it's a really small sample, probably less than a centimeter high, compared to the more typical five to six centimeters of previous samples. The tube was not capped and sealed, which allows the option to do it later or dump the sample and reuse the tube for a better one. Now, I know that many of you are aware that the president's budget terminates the Mars sample return mission, as I reported in episode 213, but this budget has not yet been approved by Congress. And no, the just passed big beautiful bill is not the same thing. So at this point, the 21 samples stored in the belly of Perseverance are in a state of limbo. But last year, NASA asked for and received proposals for a lower cost mission to return the samples including one from Rocket Lab that came in at less than $4 billion. So there are good options out there that would allow NASA to complete the decades-old goal to return carefully selected, scientifically compelling samples that will revolutionize our understanding of Mars, including its potential for life. This is achievable in less than 10 years, well before any human mission to Mars is realistically possible. And note that the SpaceX plan to send humans to Mars won't go anywhere near Jezero Crater. As recently announced by Elon Musk, the plan is to go to the Arcadia Planitia region, which likely has near-surface water ice, the most critical resource for a human mission. There's no evidence that this location experienced the kind of geologic history that makes Jezero Crater so scientifically compelling. The same is true for China's plan for Mars sample return, as I described in episode 213. So at this point, Perseverance will continue to do great science, 
and collect great samples, symbolic of the capacity of America to do great things.